So we are there for the fifth step, so plotting and checking results with MATCAD. So you have to open your MATCAD file by clicking on open. You select your MATCAD file and you click open. Now you have your worksheet opened. So to calculate stress, strain, displacement, bending moment, you have to enter other data. So we need Young Modulus, so I'll choose to to write 210,000 MPA. And for the load, I choose to apply 1 Newton. Because in Creo, I have written 1 Newton in my analysis. So that's why I choose 1 Newton. Now I will write formulas to check results from Creo. So now the chronotic moment. So I equals W multiplied by H for 3 divided by 12. So this is the chronotic moment of the section. I equals, and you can write it in millimeter, so it's equal to 13 millimeter over 4. Now, the bending moment. So, BM is equal to P multiplied by L minus X. Don't forget the little X after BM. So this is a bending moment. Then you have the stress. So sigma is equal to the bending moment. Multiplied by h divided by 2i. This is the stress along the beam. Sorry for the mistake. I have written along. And the deflection is equal to the load multiplied by x for 3 divided by 3 ei. This is the deflection. Then results. Uh, so you have to to write x two points equals, and you go on matrix tables, insert matrix, and insert matrix from eleven multiplied by one. And you write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 10, multiply by 0 0.1, multiply by L. Then you write BM equals, and it writes automatically the corresponding matrix. You do the same for the stress, and you do the same for the deflection. Deflection, you, you can set it in millimeters. 
So then if we change the parameter, like this one for L we put one meter, then you can check the value have changed. So MatCat recalculates automatically values. Now you go on plots, insert plot, xy plot. So you delay the minus 10 and you write 0 to set the origin. For the x axis, you write x in meter. And for the y axis, you write bm, don't forget the x and a newton meter. You write also sigma. This is the stress. Don't forget the unit. To have something beautiful, you have to multiply the stress by 100. With this, we have something about the same scale. So, mouse deflection in 10 centimeters. We have a beautiful plot. So, now we will check with the Creo values. So, we will change the value of L with half a meter. that we set for our Creo model. So now we see 37 and a half for the stress and 14.8 for the deflection. Now we can see 41 MPA, so it's about what we find in our formulas and for the deflection 40.8 we find the same in MATCAD and in TRIO so our result seems to be good so we can change values from L, H and W to see what is changing when we change any parameter we can see curves moving and moving and result for B, M, Sigma and V. To have something more accurate, you have to refine the mesh because our mesh was set automatically and it wasn't very accurate. If we refine the mesh, we can have something very close to results given by MatCAD. I hope this series of tutorials was very useful and clear. So if you have a question, don't hesitate to post a comment. I will try to answer it. This is the end. Bye bye.